Good morning. Although the city is not commenting at this time, this Wednesday they'll begin discussing what type of disciplinary action, if any, they should take against the lodge. And Metro paints an uncooperative business, saying not only are they allowing violent behavior on their property, but enabling it as well, from blocking the entrance at Peron Elks Lodge to keeping surveillance video from police. Metro claims the club is taking no measures to fight crime, but the lodge says that is not true, and they're being targeted unfairly. That's what they say. They've been in Las Vegas since the 1950s, a nonprofit social club in the local black community. The Ward 5 Chamber of Commerce says it's a historical piece and would actually like to make it a stop on a civil rights tour. However, it's been temporarily closed while the city considers disciplinary action over a public nuisance and safety issue claims. I think this is not just a problem with Metro. I think it's systematic with how Las Vegas has treated the black community. Um, Las Vegas has a history of shutting down black owned clubs. Many of the so-called infractions and write-ups uh, we believe have been either frivolous, have been unsupported, have been part and parcel of an effort to basically just paper the file against the Elks and paint it as a crime-ridden establishment when really it's nothing of the sort. The complaint against the club is nearly 80 pages long, detailing incidents and violent crime and employees not cooperating with investigations, including attempted murder. 24 employees are out of work and dozens of members are not able to use the building. The club again says they have not been given a chance, even after making changes and trying to work it out with police and the city. And at one point, Metro Police even installed a camera of their own. But according to court documents, it says that someone maliciously destroyed it by breaking solar panels. They're investigating who did it. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.